Good afternoon, Wayward Walker here with Wayward Woofer. And we're on a trail. Not sure where it's going to take us. I know where I want. Hope it takes us. But we won't know till we get there. Or don't get there. Or something. Anyway, we are trying to go. If you remember a couple weeks ago, we were in a place called the Wolf Swamp Wildlife Management Area. And we came to a pond, an old road in a pond, and we thought there might be a mill site there, couldn't really tell. Well, we are on the other side of that pond, coming in from that way. Um, what I have learned, I'm not throw away, wrong way here, Jack. What's going on? Uh, what I have learned, well, let's put it this way. I've looked at the maps, and there is an old road that did go along the other side of that pond. We're going to turn around and go back this way, Jack. It's not the right direction. Come on. Um, on the other side of that pond, if you remember, there was a road with the stream was that we saw the, what could have been the ruins of a mill. And if we had crossed there, we would have found this other old road. And... It looks like this trail is actually marked here. It's a blue, blue mark over there. So anyway, we're going to go down. Hopefully this, these trails, on, on the map, they're all mountain bike trails. Um, so I'm not sure exactly if they're going to take us um, down, down to that road or not. Don't know what we'll see up here. Right now it's fairly good shape. As far as maybe having, having been improved. What's the matter? Come on. I also looked at all the old maps of the area and there's nothing that says there was a mill in that section, but I'm hoping we will come across we will come out somewhere on the other side of that pond, hopefully by that crossroad. Then we can maybe cross, well, maybe it's been raining a lot. All kinds of trail markers here. Blue dots, yellow dots, red dots. Anyway, so we are gonna keep walking and see if we can get down there. It's another hot day. It's been pretty, pretty hot summer. Don't think, well, I'm hoping it's not going to rain. Uh, let's go this way. These are definitely mountain bike trails. You can just tell by the way they're laid out. So, But hopefully one will take us where we want to go. All right, so I will turn you off for now. Yeah, it looks like it's going to turn that way. And... Turning us back. It looks easy. Branch out to the left, so I think we're going to turn around again. Keep going straight. All right, come on, on, Jack. And it seems like we're on a lot of clay here. It's kind of slippery. But, as like I said, it's been really kind of watering. Last couple of weeks. Right, let's take this. Take this one. See where it takes us. Anyway, turn you off till I find something, and then we will definitely mountain bike park or something here. <sighs> All right. We can either go up or we can go down. Nice right, over a little stream and a little bridge, some mud over there. And we're headed this way. 
which is the way we want to go. So that is not the same stream that uh, we saw last time that we were talking about. I don't know if that one has a name. There's a little side trail that goes down this way. And there's one that goes that way. Well, we're going to keep going straight. Because again, looking at the all, tra all trails map, one of these is going to hook up with that possible road. So let's see which way we're going to go here. Turn around, Jack. Let's go this way. Come on. Instinct tells me to go this way. Come on. So far, there's no walls. Not much of anything out here. So, so what we're going to come across but you know, we're going to find out. Keep moving. There's a crack in the bushes over there. Oh, we're going uphill. It looks like it's going to be a little rocky. Don't eat the grass, Jack. It's so weird. But then, that's coming from a guy out here walking in the woods, talking to himself. All right, I'm going to shut you off, get to the top of this little climb here, and we'll be back. Yeah, we're in a little further. We're going through a little swamp area. Plenty of mosquitoes for everybody. I do have my stuff on, but... What he sees over there, if something's caught his, caught his interest. So, not a bad trail. It's a little rocky, but I haven't seen anything, but I heard something over there that tells me there must be houses to that side, and there is a road. In fact, that road is to that side, and there is a road. In fact, that road used to go through this was swamp. Now it's just a abandoned road and I think it's posted. I haven't been able to determine that yet. But so it's gonna take me to the same place that I want to go. So that's why we're going this way. Must have been a bridge over here at one time. So somebody obviously made this a uh, trail. Somebody on it. it appear to be anyway. Not that we haven't seen any fresh tire marks. More footprints. That's interesting right over there. So let's take a look. What we got? It opens up. I can't tell if those are natural rocks or not. I'll check them on the way out because until he gets his energy out, he doesn't like to stop for long. We haven't been out for a few days, so. Alright, anyway, let's keep going. This way. Now, somewhere, also, I, well, I think it's further to the west than we are. Supposedly, at one time, there was an old boundary marker for one of the original. Land grants that was given to, uh, I'm not sure if it was Winthrop or someone else, but come on, you can go with that, there you go, um, I'll have to look it up again, but there was supposedly a granite marker in here, depicting where the boundary was. Again, I think that might be for the east, but I do recall seeing an interesting stone, a pile of stones 
uh, when we came here last time, coming in the other way. I don't think that's it, because the description I got is the granite. So maybe we'll see that, maybe we won't. And this is not an old road. So, I don't know if it would have been on the road or where it would have been, but if we find it, we'll be sure to show it to you, and we'll be back. All right, so we're a little further down. See, we just came through a little open area. Still no walls. Uh, I'm going to tell, I would say it's sort of improved. Probably been logged at one time. And I'm looking, you can't see it right where I am, but come on. What do you see? Um, according to the map, should be looking for a right hand turn. It's gonna kind of double back a little bit and then go to the left and go to the pond, which is over there somewhere. And it looks like well, now that I'm, I want to see it, I don't, but I thought I saw the uh, where the trees are a lot, you know, with an open area like for a pond. But let's see it now. But anyway, nobody's been through here today because I'm getting cobwebs all over me. Mosquitoes. No horse flies though. So that's good. It's a nice trail actually. So it's a little hot today. Very humid. But I have got water for Jack and I. I've got his bowl with me that I need. We will stop in a little bit. We're going downhill with our pine needles. It's kind of damp. All right, we'll come to a, a little Y in the road here. This is the one that shows me on the map. The wall trails map that take me to the road. There's a brook down here. It's probably the same one. It's steep. Same one we crossed earlier. Hold on a minute, Jack. It almost looks like that could have been a road of some sort. And actually, this little section we just got off almost so it looked like a road. But I'll be back in a minute because we've got a steep downhill and I'm going to need all my uh, skills to get down this with him. All right, as you can tell by my breathing, I'm climbing uphill again. Uh, don't think this was an old road. Although it could have been. But this looks more like it was made by all terrain vehicles and the like. Um, we also crossed down there. We crossed that brook stream. And there was a modern, there was a culvert there with a uh, modern room. BBC pipe going through it. So I don't think it was a colonial bridge. So, also looking at the map, I'm no longer on the recognized trail, but I am heading in the right direction. And I'm glad we did because we have a stone wall over here. So let's go see what that is. foundation or something. See it right up there. All right, Jack. Let's head up here. Come on. Looks like two. That looks like an old, some kind of outbuilding. Something maybe they parked some things in the bank. Hold on a minute. We're tangled. This looks like an old barn as well. This 
probably looks like about five feet high. So, let's go see where the house is. There's a wall, stone wall up there. Let's go this way and that way. I'm feeling that might be the road. Yeah, this looks like another probably probably another foundation here. I think it was a house, but could have been. All right, this is definitely an old road. Trails go up on top of this. We'll look there in a minute. Ponder that way. It's fairly, uh, fairly clear land. I didn't say it was farmed. Something was done here. Let's go to the top of the hill, Jack, and see if there's a foundation. You need some water. We'll stop. Up, up, up. Now I do know looking at the Google terrain map that there are a lot of peaks and valleys here, a lot of ridges, a lot of ditches. No house foundation yet. All right, we're gonna stop, take a break here, I think. Look at the map, and we'll be back. Come across this, I don't know what it was. It's definitely stone lined. Maybe three, maybe it's probably about seven feet long. Maybe two feet wide. It was dug, obviously. There's a pile there. Uh, we just came from up there. I didn't see any house foundation up there. And the road is right there, and that is the road that we're looking for. So um, that is Old Town Road, called Glendale Road, which dead ends, the new road dead ends up there. So we are in the uh, right spot. So we're going to go back this way. Maybe just go up the road a little bit. If I think I see, it, might see a house already up there, but not that far from where the road ends. So this is evidently the way to come in, because the other way I was going to come I was going to go down the uh, power lines. It was very, very steep. I don't like the power lines. But I don't have to. Looks like the road goes off here. Let's see the wall. It's off the bit. All right, let's go down here, Jack. A little bit.
Yeah, let's just go. Okay, here we go. Now, I heard a rumor, an urban legend, that I've heard for 40 years or more, probably 50 years or more. There was a tree here with beer can leaves. is I don't know if it truly exists although my sources claim that it does and they were responsible for some of those beer cans but I cannot uh, divulge the source of my information and again I'm not even sure if it's true we're gonna go up here looks like there's a clearing up here see what that is we'll turn around get back on that road and head down the other way to where it should cross. We should cross the, uh, come to the pond. And our house is all up there, so. All right, we're gonna turn around here, Jack. We'll put you back on. All right, we are still on uh, the same road. I did go to the end, the north end of it. There is a gate there, but there's no there's no posted signs. It's not posted. It also doesn't look like there's any place really to park. So it looks like it's somebody's driveway. So I don't know if there's much room there. And we are heading up. There are a lot of trails in here. Uh, the pond should be right up here. This is not where the crossing where we came out. But again, according to the USGS map, and I don't know what year it was, but I think it's fairly old, that uh, there's this Glendale Road actually took a left turn and went up along the side of this pond. Not seen a house, not seen a well. Still got walls, kind of beat up, but they're still here. Uh, I'm wondering, I mean, that small building, small foundation we saw could have been a house, but I don't think it was. Uh, there was no chimney stack or anything. But it's a lot more interesting down here, too, because there's a lot of little trails things cross wall this could be uh, it's kind of interesting right there oh I came across a little spot of mud what looks like this is some uh, bear prints but hey don't worry about that All right, so we're heading down the hill. When we get to the bottom, I think we're going to be at the at the pond, trout pond, and we will be back then. All right, we're still on Glendale Road. We just come across another ditch along the road here. And it goes up there. Jack, let's go back up this way. Come here. You want to rest? Okay. I don't see any foundation coming down that way. Who knows? It's fairly deep. This is just drainage to the road, maybe? I don't think so. Well, I've been down this road before on my mountain bike. And... It was about 25 years ago, maybe. At that time, uh, I was more interested in just keeping the bike upright, um, avoiding crashing. Um, 
you know where I was. It's very interesting here. There's another it's dug out over here too. I think that's the pond. And I think that's the other road. We'll go back that way. I would like to find that other the crossing. I know this up well, I'm not gonna say I know, but I'm pretty sure this isn't it here. We went further up north. It's the southern end. Alright, turn it off. Keep going, see what we find. There's a wall back there too. Alright, we're gonna as far as we can go this way. Which I figured. There's a deep beaver dam over there. There's a wall up there. Goes into it. So they put a little bridge here at one time. I'm not gonna walk through there because that's not really where I want to go. But Jack is getting a drink and cooling off. I'm gonna let him stay here for a bit. Hopefully he won't get sick. No, I'll stay over here. Don't go in there too far. But anyway, so we just came down this little hill and back up there. There was a, a road, I believe it's the road we see on the topo map. All right, Jack, you ready? Come on. I haven't seen any foundations. I don't know what that um, ditch is there for. And the road does get a lot of runoff when it rains, I guess, because you can see Kevin into that, but don't know what that was for. If the pond was up there, then I could say, well, that could be a mill race, but the pond isn't. And I think, I don't think that pond was there before the beavers dammed it up. That's my guess. But again, I don't necessarily know that. Don't eat the grass. There's a side trail up here. So we're going to go up side road, see if we can, I don't know if we're going to make it all the way to the crossing that I wanted to see we might uh, then I want to find I'm hoping there's gonna be an easy quicker way back to the truck because we basically kind of did like an L kind of thing almost like an H and I said that uh, road the off-road road but the off-road is made I don't believe and that's not where the trail was on the map. So maybe we'll get lucky, find a trail that's going to head west once we get down further north. In the meantime, we are going to turn up here. Go along, see what's up here, this side of the pond. We'll be back. All right, that was a dead end, literally. We're headed back up the road and we'll head back to the truck because it's starting to rain. Not hearing any thunder, so that's good. Uh, so we'll be back if we find something interesting. If I find the trail that goes off to my right, I'll probably take that because it'll probably go. Oh, here's that ditch, too. It just starts right there where that tree is. And I don't know what that's all about. This trail up sort of left right there. Hmm. Alright. So we'll be back. Alright, well we're off the road. Took a side trail. And there's quite a uh, network of little trails in here. So I'm just heading in the right direction, I hope. And Staying on one trail and I'll see another one that's heading the right way. Right now, come across this wall. It's the first wall I've seen in a long time. But there's no trail to follow on the other side. So I don't think we're gonna go that way. I mean we're kind of bushwhacking, but we're not, so uh, it's a nice wall. See down there where the lighter green is, that's where that swamp is, the pond. It does look like there's a trail right up here. So I'm kind of going in a uh, northwesterly direction. 
which should take me back to uh, a four by four road, we call it for lack of a better term, or the road came in. Now this is going the wrong way, so we don't want to go down this way. There's a lot of this. I don't know if maybe they've been digging for Title V septic things. See a lot of big holes in the ground. All right, anyway. So I don't really want to bushwhack. So I gotta figure out which way we're gonna go from here and I'll be back. No matter how far you're out and how out are out in the middle of the woods, I'm gonna find a tire. Alright, so I think we're almost back to that road. The north south road we were on it. It was made by four wheelers or wherever lives thereof. It's hot, it's muggy. We're just taking our time and uh, I don't know where that wall went. This reminds me very much of um, a couple of the places I went when I first started doing this, you know, a mountain bike areas where the trails just went in circles, and, which is what mountain bikers do, but very hard to follow. So I found, I'll give you the trail right here. Yep. But I found, just kind of going, down the direction where you want to go, you're gonna cross another trail sooner or later. All right, so this is where we were. So, I don't know how long, but we should be back to the truck in a little bit. Uh, so sweaty, my glasses are all fogged up, so I can't see, but I'll be back. All right, we're just about back at the truck, and we didn't see anything different on the way back. About three and a half miles, and it's hot, but it was a very nice hike. Didn't see where I wanted, didn't get where I wanted to go, but we'll come back. I'm sure there's a trail that's going to go that way because there's a lot of trails up here. So that's the way we're walking away with Wagon saying don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and we will see you the next time. Get outside, enjoy your backyards and your neighbor's backyards and everybody's backyards. And that's it. We're done.